if they were political contributors. Maybe Tom Corbett would listen to them. Corbett and six governors up for re-election are the target of hedge fund billionaire Tom Steyer. His political action committee, Next Gen Climate Action, paid for this ad. Oil and gas companies gave Corbett $1.7 million in political contributions. This is true. Eight on your side found the oil and gas industry has given more than $1.6 million to Corbett campaigns since 2004. That's more than double Corbett's own personal contributions. But here is where the claim begins to fall apart. Oil and gas companies gave Corbett $1.7 million in political contributions, and he gave them a sweetheart deal on taxes that's costing Pennsylvania billions. That is misleading. The graphic says the state stood to make $24 billion on a natural gas volume tax. That number and idea comes from an opinion article on a blog website. A records check found the idea has never been proposed by state lawmakers. They would have to approve such a tax. The ad also makes claims about Corbett's education funding. And his painful education cuts are forcing teacher layoffs. This claim needs context. Let's break it down like this. These green apples represent money the state gives to schools. Let's say this is in 2007. These red apples represent federal stimulus money that started coming in for the state for schools. This is in 2009. But that money ran out in 2011, and the state could not afford to make up the difference. With an ad watch, Pete Mundin, on your side, News 8. The race for governor is tightening. This ad, put on the air by Governor Tom Corbett, tries to grab your attention by talking about your bottom line. One study concluded Wolf's plan will almost triple the state income tax for many middle-class families. On screen, the ad claims Democratic challenger Tom Wolf would raise the income tax for the middle class by 188 percent. That's not so simple. Until I find out what we actually are facing, uh, I'm not going to be any more specific. While Wolf has been criticized for not saying more about his plan, the conservative Commonwealth Foundation estimated the 188 percent increase. It argues Wolf would have to hike the state income tax to 8.85 percent to get the money he wants. What the ad doesn't explain is that calculation also assumes people making $80,000 a year or less would not pay more in income tax. In fact, data from the U.S. Census Bureau shows two-thirds of all households in Pennsylvania last reported incomes less than $75,000 a year. So even using the Commonwealth Foundation's math, a majority of Pennsylvanians who call themselves middle class would see no increase or even a tax break under Wolf's plan. But that's not what the ad says. And Wolf's massive tax increase means a massive reduction in your take-home pay. In a statement, the Commonwealth Foundation admits most Pennsylvanians would not see a tax increase, but added, quote, the increased tax burden would fall on many small businesses who employ middle to low income people. So while they wouldn't directly see an increase in their tax bills, many would certainly feel the effects of a tax increase. The Corbett ad is misleading because Tom Wolf has said he will give the middle class a tax cut. He has not defined middle class Corbett is defining middle class for Tom Wolf. What's the truth on taxes? This ad by Democrat Tom Wolf tries to shift attention away from Republican incumbent Tom Corbett's attacks on Wolf's tax plan by pinning new taxes back on the governor. Listen to this. It's Corbett who slashed education by a billion dollars, and now almost 80% of school districts plan to raise property taxes. The ad supports this claim with a report by the Pennsylvania Association of School Administrators. While it does find about 80% of school districts plan to raise taxes this school year, only about half of the state's 500 districts responded to the survey. The ad tries to pin it all on Corbett, when in fact, that's misleading. The voters of the state mostly see the pain at the school district level, which is why Tom Wolf has had the advantage on that issue. The ad also tries to say Corbett is making it more expensive for you to drive. And it's Corbett who's increasing gas taxes by 28 cents a gallon. Tom In Corbett fact, Corbett approved uncapping the tax on gas wholesalers to pay for billions in repairs to bridges and roads. In the meantime, and in an exclusive interview with News 8, Corbett denies he raised a tax, but admits drivers are paying more at the pump. And that's a fair tax. It all doesn't get passed along. Uh, a portion of it does get passed along. But it wasn't a tax increase. We didn't increase the rate. We took away the cap. 